Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to tell the answer to the question that is very frequently asked to us in the comment section or in the top mate also in the sort of career guidance. People do ask that will AI take up the job? Will chat GPT take up the testing jobs? Will Devin take the software engineering jobs or the software testing jobs? So such kind of questions are coming. Now, why are they coming? And what is the base of such kind of questions and what would be the response to this question right so we would be seeing those particular things in this particular video in detail but before that i would like to tell you about uh, our top top mate profile so on top mate uh, you can schedule mock interviews with us so we are conducting real time interviews con consisting of manual automation core java all these kind of questions you can get and this is at a very considerable rate if you are looking for any sort of mentorship then you can also book a schedule or schedule a session with us right so these things are available on top mate so do take advantage of these things right it would be very effective very helpful for you because these you can just see the charges that has been kept right these are so nominal charges and these have been just kept because it has been found in the past that the moment we schedule the interview the candidate is not responding right or they don't join the call itself and hence the weekends is getting wasted. So these calls are generally scheduled on weekends itself, Saturdays and Sundays. So you can schedule the calls. And again, these are kept at a very nominal cost, right? Now coming to the question, will Devin take up your software testing job? So recently there is a lot of hype that is put on the Twitter and many other social media platforms, right? So let me share my screen. So you would have uh, seen this particular thing on twitter right so they have uh you know successfully they have been very successful in doing the proper marketing of their uh tool or you can say the recent ai tool they have been successful in that why why i'm telling successful in marketing because now people have started talking about it so the goal of the marketing is that it should reach to the mouth of the people the goal of the market effective marketing is that people should start talking about it and now that kind of hype has been built around it if they would have told that yes it's once one more ai tool like that of a chat gpt then it would not have hurt that much to the software engineers or to the software testers but now they are telling that yes devin will take your software testing job devin will devin will take your software engineering job right so now let me quickly uh, clarify on few of these things, what's gonna happen and will there be job of software testing in future or not, right? So let's see this particular aspect from the different mindset. So from people having different uh, experience and mindset. So let's take freshers first and then we'll go for uh, someone who is having four to six years of experience, right? These are all about software testing jobs, right? than 10 plus years of experience right so the question is would would the ai be taking up the testing jobs or will devin kind of ai tools would be able to replace you in your current companies or in your it industry right so now let me explain you about this particular thing now as a tester what do you do entire day right you don't sit and just execute the test cases you don't just sit and perform testing you are there to analyze the situation. You are there to think logically and test accordingly. Now, when I'm saying think logically, so you would be referring some requirement documents. You would be having some reference, some baseline application ready, and then you would be performing the testing. And imagine, uh, let's say 20 years back when there was no automation tool, right? How, how did Selenium came into the picture? It, was that built by AI? Was it built by chat GPT? No, there was a lot of documentation. There was a lot of research done. There was a group of people who eventually came up and they launched the open source library like Selenium. Think from the, so this is web application automation Selenium, right? Now think about Windows based application, Venium, right? That's how that also got launched, right? And now do you think Selenium is replacing you at your job? No, you need to learn Selenium. You need to, sharpen your skills to learn the automation so that it can help you it can aid you in your day-to-day -day work how is it helping you so let's say if uh, you have you are working in a project in which uh, 
let me cl create one more diagram here right so it will be more useful for you yeah so meanwhile i have created the diagram so please uh, do hit like on such kind of videos these kind of videos are absolutely free of cost you don't need to do anything and you just have to spend some five to ten minutes of time on these videos and you will get a lot of clarity and your thought process would be getting improved right so now let's think if you have so just imagine you have a thousand test cases with you in your regression suit right it is not possible to test all the regression test cases so this tool is a bit new for me as well so let me yeah so let's say you have thousand plus regression test cases right it is not possible for you to test each and every test case on the day of release so what do you do you perform automation you do selenium just to make sure that you are able to focus on something else some other testing some other priority testing which <clears throat> needs manual which needs human intervention right now let's take a very basic job of a tester what does a tester do a very basic thing is they will write the test cases how they will write the test cases they might be using several testing techniques boundary value analysis equivalence partitioning state transition right but do you think if you uh, give test cases writing to ai would they be able to think effectively now just imagine a text box a simple text box right in which you have to enter some values and you have to test the response the ai might be testing some particular values but what about the smart testing right you might be testing on boundaries you might be testing maybe some values that the client would have reported in the past if you are working in a service-based company you need to think from a client perspective as well right you cannot inject what your client is thinking into your ai tools mindset right they have been programmed to tell you something right but they cannot have that vision what client is expecting from you right or if you are working in a product based company what any stakeholder is expecting from you right that is very limited to you because it's a human kind of an expectations right uh, let's take an example of a client who needs uh, devops integration with the software testing right so you might get that code on the ai how how you can integrate devops but again you need to think how you have to integrate regression how you have to integrate smoke what things you have to uh, incorporate when you have to integrate uh, performance right those kind of things right now let's say your client will tell i need a report i need a performance test report or i need a security test report uh, something that you need to scan through the entire software i need i need a security testing report from last month from last release to this release right so if you inject those kind of keywords being a prompt engineer you en enter those kind of keywords in chat gpt and you tell them or you tell devin to give those kind of uh, results to you they will not because they don't know what is the product that you are working on they don't have that kind of product knowledge itself that the software testers do have the software testers actually have more product knowledge compared to software development team and sometimes the product knowledge is also at the same level of business analyst the PMOs, POs, because they have to test the application from the business perspective, right? So such kind of smartness, such kind of analytical skills, such kind of uh, logical reasoning, you cannot expect from any kind of GPT or NPT kind of tools, right? So forget about it. It's not even something that you get even 50% of it. Okay, now where AI would be useful to you. So now AI can be useful to you at some particular places where they can you can get some work done from them. But again, you need to sharpen your skills. You need to learn those skills to ensure, to take the decision that the raw thing which you have received from AI is actually a proper or not. So those kind of decision making, you would be able to learn, you would be able to do once you learn the skills now many of the freshers they do ask you know that uh, in current scenario will we get the software testing job right is, is it going to happen that uh, in the it industry we will be getting laid off so freshers generally have this these kind of you know questions 
So the answer is no, it cannot happen, but you have to learn the skills so that you can use the AI wisely in your projects or in your day-to-day -day work, right? Now coming to this four to six years of experience, right? How, how can AI help you or how can AI assist you in getting your work done is about, you know, when, uh, when you are writing the code or when you are um, thinking about some kind of uh, um, tools or technology that you need in your project, but you are not much aware about it. So you can browse such things on AI. You can browse such things on chat GPT and you can see whether you are getting proper responses. So you can see what kind of responses you are getting and then you can identify, okay, which are the tools, uh, those are there in the market, which are, which are the technologies that are being used in the companies these days. So those kind of knowledge, those kind of information gathering, you can get from AI, right? Now, when it comes to 10 plus years of, uh, you know, experience, the employees who have 10 plus years of experience, software testers, QA managers, right? QA leads, so they know, this is not the thing that is going to replace you, yeah, right? So this is a hype that has been created in the market just to, you know, sell those things. Again, I won't say this is a scam, right? Yes, AI is there, artificial intelligence is there, machine learning is there, right? But they are not here to take your jobs. They are, they are here to make you more productive, right? When I say productive, so let's say you have been working six hours or eight hours a day. So uh, I'm not uh, taking anything that has been said, you know, 70 hours a week, right? So if you're working seven to eight hours a day, they can help you to reduce your, uh, you know, workload by maybe 30 minutes, one hour. But again, you need to be there and you need to see the output that you are getting from AI, whether it is sufficient, whether it is proper enough, whether it is reliable. If it is not there, then you need to do the needful. And in order to do the needful, you will have to have those kind of knowledge. You will have to learn those kind of skills, right? So recently, we have got a lot of these questions. So I thought to take up on this question today, right? Again, and as always, uh, we are here to support you, right? And uh, we, we are not expecting, you know, a lot of uh, kind of uh, disappointment. Don't get disappointed. Don't, don't get... Uh, stressed by such kind of information see people would be posting there is a democracy that is going on right they are they have freedom to speak they have freedom to uh, you know convey the informations but it is up to you what information has been spread in which direction it has been applicable to you so all those kind of things you have to analyze right and then only think it further don't get demotivated right so last but not the least so once again i would like to tell you about this top mate uh, profile right so we have been uh, working on these profiles and uh, fortunately with your love with your support we have got 100 plus testimonials positive testimonials as well on this top mate it has been very recently that we have started using this top mate and you will get all these kind of things at a very affordable cost right we don't charge much we are charging in order to make sure that the things are going into the safe hands right so again this is something which you can also take care which you can also utilize and uh, we we also have been posting about uh, digital products so you would see all the digital products that you can uh, you know, use in your testing interview questions, right? So see, uh, the some of the questions, some of the interview questions have been posted here. Questions plus answers has been provided in few of the digital products. So you can utilize these products, right? And you can um, make sure that you are able to clear the next interview, right? So feel free to schedule a call with us. And if you are having any kind of financial issue, just drop me an email at rdautomationlearning at gmail.com. And we will schedule the interview for you absolutely free of cost. Don't worry for that, right? But just make sure that my time or our channel's time is not getting wasted on Saturdays and Sundays because such things are done on weekends itself. And I don't want that, uh, you know, to schedule a session and the candidate does not turns up for that particular schedule, right? So that's the reason why we have gone for this top mate, right? So we'll be continuing posting videos on YouTube as well. It doesn't mean that uh, the channel will be closed. 
it will be there and uh, we would love to support you in your career as well right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates